and welcome back to Fox Weather Now. Right now, we have some heavy rain moving over parts of St. Louis. You can see all of this being the remnant of what was Hurricane Burrow. Uh, thankfully, things are quiet to the south, not so much to the north. We do have a new update for you, a tornado watch being issued throughout parts of southern Illinois, back towards Kentucky, as well as Indiana, and northern portions of Tennessee that do include Nashville. So we're watching these areas very closely. Bowling Green, for example, just off towards the east of you, there is a tornado warning already active. So things are becoming very active as we go through the afternoon. It is hot, it is humid, and on top of that, we do have a lot of instability in place as Burrow continues to track all off towards the north. Looking at some of those tornado warnings that we watch back towards, say, south and central portions of Kentucky, it's south of Columbia, moving off towards the north and east, getting ready to move over parts of Highway 270, uh, uh, 127. But we look at this particular thunderstorm in itself, not that tight knit. I'm curious what the what the couple it looks like. Okay, so not that great either. But nonetheless, at one point, there was some rotation popping up here on the radar. You could see it a little farther back with the last couple of scans that prompted this tornado warning. And it was extended until 2.45 Central Time. So if you're in areas like uh, Adair, back towards Col uh, Cumberland, back towards Russell, this is going to be a zone for you to kind of get into your safe place now until this warning lets up. I know it's radar indicated, but nonetheless, if there is a tornado there, we want you to be safe. This is going to be the theme for the rest of today. We do have Burrow that's going to continue to move off towards the north of the remnants of Burrow, I should say. A little bit more scattered to the south in that area that's under that tornado warning simply because of how hot and humid it is. That's adding insult to injury here. And as this moves off towards the north, I mean, parts of Illinois back towards Indiana will get in on some heavy, steady rain throughout the course of tonight and into early tomorrow morning. That being said, it does look like we have a swath of heavier rain that's going to be moving through anywhere between two to three inches of rain and upwards of three to five inches of rain to areas like Chicago and Grand Rapids, as well as Detroit. So we'll watch these areas into early Wednesday. Looking at this threat that's going to be in place, we do have alerts also. We have a flash flooding, uh, flood watch that's in place from Missouri back through Illinois, taking us all the way as far north as parts of Michigan. So we're going to keep a close eye on that too.